Now that we talked about both session and arrangement view, I really quickly just want to take a moment to talk about uh, and kind of hopefully answer the question, when do we use each view? So we, again, we have these two views primarily, session view and arrangement view. How do we know when to use each view? A couple of notes that I have here. One, it's important to know both views are better at some things than other. Because of the nature of arrangement view, there's some things about it uh, and some uses of it that are better than other uh, than session view for certain things. Session view is created a certain way that there's certain things that are better to do in session view than they are in arrangement view. Now, the other thing I want to mention is both views can be hacked to do a lot of the same things. Now, I'll often get into conversations with people where uh, I talk about using arrangement view for tracks. And one of my uh, one of the reasons I enjoy doing that is because of the fact that I could do really great transitions over here. And they say, well, you, you know, you can remove stop buttons over in session view and you can do great transitions there, too. And I say, yes, that is true. Again, both views can be hacked to do a lot of the same things, but both views are better at some things than others. So I want to mention up front here, whatever you want to do, do it. If you want to run tracks in session view, go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. If you want to do a, a nonlinear looping performance uh, um, and preset some things over in session and arrange it view, great, do it. There's nothing wrong with that. But I do think it's important to understand a bit of live's worldview. So you at least start in the right place. If you're somewhere and you're really comfortable, you're running tracks in session, you're really comfortable with it. Great. Stay there. But I would encourage you to take a moment and understand live's worldview so that you start in the right place to do a certain project. It all comes down to linear versus nonlinear. What do I mean by that? A range of view is very linear. It goes left to right. Remember, our tracks run left to right. It's similar to GarageBand. It's similar to Logic. It's similar to Pro Tools. It's what we're used to um, when we're talking about recording a song. It's very linear. Now, within its linearness, we could be very nonlinear by jumping around with locators. We talked about that earlier in the arrangement view lesson. But if you're going to do something that's very nonlinear, then session view is the place for that. What do I mean by nonlinear? Again, we talked about recording in clips, recording these small little segments that are their own timelines. And then we combine each of these little individual timelines together uh, to make up different parts. So it's very nonlinear because I can press play on this bass part. Right. And that bass part is going to play over and over and over and over until I stop it because loop is set up. I haven't predefined play this bass part for three measures. I'm just saying press play on this bass part and I want it to continue to play uh, as long as uh, uh, until I stop it. Right. So session view in its nature, by its nature, uh, is very nonlinear. Arrangement view by its nature is very linear. So practically, how do we apply all this? One, if you are in a situation where you're running backing tracks, you're running multi-track stems with a live band, or even as a solo artist, run those in arrangement view. Why? Because a song in its nature is linear. Now, even within the song, if you repeat a section, if you want to jump around within your song, it's still a linear structure. Now, again, we can use locators to jump around in our song, but the song itself is a linear structure. So I suggest starting with running tracks, not even starting, but staying with running tracks in range of view because it's a linear thing. Now, if you're in a live looping situation, you're doing the Ed Sheeran live looping thing. You're doing the Elise Trial live looping thing. Uh, you're building a song up in parts and sections. I would encourage you to use uh, Session View because Session View is non-linear. Uh, it lets me record a guitar part for a measure and let it play infinitely. I could bring that part in and out um, as much as I want to, but Session View is very non-linear. Uh, and live looping is non-linear thing. So I'm going to stick to session view for that. Now, if you're recording a full band, if you're multi-track recording in a studio, I would use arrangement view because that is very linear in its nature. Arm your tracks, press play, record up to as many parts as you want to. Now, if you're recording parts of a song, writing the song, producing the song, you're doing that in a non-linear thing as you're trying to maybe work out what the verse part could be and work out what the chorus part could be. I would do that in session view. Session view is one of my favorite songwriting tools. I love talking to songwriters, like talking to people that are very creative that feel like at a moment's notice they need to capture stuff. And I say session view is a great way to do that. Again, because it's nonlinear, I can record the the last uh, the bass part 
for the outro of my song before I do anything else. And then I could go back and work in whatever structure, whatever order I want to. And then again, I can trigger individual clips uh, of my song and jump around uh, to build my song kind of on the fly. Uh, now, if you, again, are another example that if you're producing music and you're just working out what a drum beat could be, then you want to work out what the keys part could be. I would stick in session view for that because it's very nonlinear. So again, use whatever view you want to use, but it comes down to me to the fact that uh, session view is our nonlinear view and arrangement view is our linear view. So if what you're trying to do is linear, stick to arrangement view. If what you're trying to do is nonlinear, stick to session view.